Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to give another shot against Rex Raptor, but we're going to try and edit down our deck into interesting way in an interesting way. So, the things that are not helping my deck at the moment. Two wretched things in the attic? I'm afraid not. That's not helping. Um, Shadow Spectre is a zombie that might help. Kaminari, that's always good. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Kami, that's an electric monster if I remember correctly. Yes, Thunder will help. Um, Hero Shadow Scout is useless, so it's out. Droll Bird is useful. Mystery Hand is useless, so it's out. Yamato is useful. Frog the Jam is probably useless, but I'm going to keep it for now. Guild Dolgra is useless, so it's out. Uh, Mask Clown, the Wandering, Igamoon, almost useless, but actually I'm going to keep it because it's low cost. Armored Lizard, Curtain of the Dark Ones, Yashioki, Oscillo Hero, Happy Lover, Bio Plant's fine, Beta's fine, Buku's important. Mountain Warrior, what are you? You're an Earth, you beat Thunder? Okay, maybe. That might come in handy. Lyleon, okay. Phantom, Naga, Rude Kishin, Bone Mouse is useful. Hamburger, okay, okay. The rest of these guys can stay for now. Let's go over here. We need to have four cards. We're going to start from the back instead of the front. I feel like the front has all these useless cards. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add that one monster, the funny face. Get him back in the deck. And now the rest of the monsters we're going to add are going to be... Let's see. Stuff I can actually make. Uh, Curse of what? Curse of Trihorn. Okay, I'm not using that. I actually did use that in Duels of the Roses, funny enough. It was part of my tournament deck. Crush card virus costs 50. That ain't coming out. That ain't going to make it. Um, Disc Magician Flame Viper. I wish I had Flame Viper. Uh, Hourglass, I would love to add to the deck, but its cost is probably way too high. 23 is pretty goddamn high. It's it's so freaking high. I can't add that with three cards necessary. Hero's useless to me. Bladefly's useless to me. Beaked is useless to me. Abyss Flower would be nice if I could get another one. Invader, I believe that's an insect. Insects are pretty useless. It's a fiend. It's still pretty useless to me. Um, Wretched Thing in the Attic is cute, but I don't need it. Um, Tongyo, Mega Thunderball, Kamakiri, Starboy, Muka Muka, Rock Monster, eh, I need more dragons, I just don't have any. Geldogra, Fungi, Caterpillar, uh, Buku, Practical, wow, I'm seeing a lot of monsters now. Arm Ninja is not useless anymore. I know I made fun of Grandpa for it, but it's a warrior and I could actually use warriors. Uh, White Dolphin, no, no, no. Jinzo, number seven, is a machine and actually does have a use. Since it does fuse, mechanical, whatever. Monster Eye, if I really want to look at their hands. Swordsman, sadly, it has a use. It's disgusting, but it does. Um, before I even get done here, let me see if there was anything better I could add for now. Because at the moment, it doesn't look like it. Swords, Machine, Black Pendant, Beast Fangs. All those spell cards cost too much, sadly. A uh, holograph. That's that's a machine, right? Yeah, that's probably better than the other ones I've added. I can't add it back. Okay. So let's go ahead and take out one of the machines I added. Let's add holograph instead. So machine, machine. Cyberstein's fine. Uh, there was a different one. Bio plant, mountain lion, phantom, Zera, Milus radiant, Tongyo, arm ninja, Zinzo number seven. You get out of here. I love you, but no. And now we're going to go add that holograph. Yeah, you can come to the deck. There we go. Just enough points. Okay. Now our deck that we have all the constructed cards I feel pretty good about. Like, oh, look, it's Funny Face. Uh, it's, look, it's Beta. Look, it's Ikaboon. All right. I'm going to try and summon... Oh, he loves to buff his monsters is the problem. Yeah, this guy loves to buff him some monsters. Um, if he summons a fiend monster, I could get him with Buku, so that's nice. And I'm just going to start with Wretched, just so that they, you know, just to bait out a regular attack. Hopefully they don't do any buffing or anything. Um, yep, just a basic Trachodon. We could beat that. We 100% can beat that. If I can get a wind monster, that'd be nice too. But for now, a light monster is enough. Um, I drew my Swordsman. That's kind of nice too. But we're going to go with a basic beta. I was thinking about selling my new dream monster, but it's fine. Veda's good, because if they play the field spell, I'll get the buff, and I will. they'll have to play an equip spell for it to be worth it. Alright, let's see. Nope, just basic defense mode, not bad. 
good situation for me to be in. Oh, I drew both my uh, warrior monsters. That's a little annoying, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and summon the funny face, because it's funny. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and attack the Anthrosaurus with our Bait of the Magnet Warrior. And then we're going to uh, use the funny face with the 1800 attack and just bleed this guy down. Hell yeah. The funny face creature is a little bit creepy, but you know what? It does the job. And just more defense mode. Okay, nothing bad with that. I drew another Buku, which could come in handy. Uh, sadly, none of these cards fuse, so I guess I could just summon a Buku right now. Um, I don't think he's going to summon a Fiend monster at the moment, so we're just going to go with the basic attack. Sinkar is a forest monster, I believe, so I was right to do this. And then we're going to attack. Now, for sure, he's going to go after my Buku, and that's fine. I have two. I was lucky enough to draw two, so... If we lose one, we have another. So, and then, honestly, he's just there for Crawling Dragon. It's like the only card I'm afraid of. Alright, Anthrosaurus does the job. Good for him, but at the same time, you're now left yourself wide open for me. I got a Fiend Beast Monster. That's not going to fuse with basically anything in my hand. Um, just to be safe, I will not summon those cards. I'll just summon the basic guy. We're going to let Beta take out Anthro. And we're going to take a huge hit in this guy's life points. Not enough to win the duel, but we didn't have enough damage showing anyway, so it's fine. And now, unless he somehow gets a bunch of equip spells, or uses them, and they just never have, like, he just decided never to use them till now, uh, we win. Oh, look at that, he actually did. Oh, Sinkar's useless. They can't even beat Beta. Alright, so he got an equip spell, but he gave it to the wrong monster, so it doesn't matter. And now we drew Kami card. Okay, that's cute. Um, even though this card's Aqua, I don't think it fuses with Kami. I'm just going to do it anyway, just to check. Um, yeah, I was right, because he was a warrior. Makes sense. Uh, Kami would have fused with my other guy, though, so it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just destroy him. Bay the Magnet Warrior knows what to do. And then let's do maximum damage with the funny face. Is it doing the peace? Yeah, I think it's doing the peace sign. That's funny. All right, funny face. Good job. I lost. Impossible. How did you even make those monsters? I've never seen them before. I know, right? And you get Urbi, a really good dinosaur monster, at 1,500 attack. Ooh, that's nice. And what else do I get? A laser card? Really? Another insect card? Look, those cards are useless to me because their cost is just way too high. Way too high. So let's go ahead and get over to the Weevil fight. Here we go, guys. I know I only have one Pyro monster here, and that's going to suck. But it's just the only thing I got. It's just got one. I got holograph, I got a beast, I got a, be a, wa a machine, I got, ooh, I got a dragon. I'm kind of curious if I can make the thing I'm thinking of. Dragon with machine. Now, granted, it wouldn't make the strongest thing in the world, but it would be interesting to see. Of course, I don't know if I'm going to need any of these types or if it's just a uh, aqua situation, so... I'm just going to go ahead and set Arb Ninja. I don't need his fusion. It's It's pretty bad. Machine and Warrior makes a pretty bad fusion, but it's it's just there. Any buffs on the first turn? No buffs, but they have the Flea. A 1500 beater monster. That's pretty terrifying in its own right. Alright. Um, zombie Dragon. That would be a lot better, actually. So we're going to let Yamato Dragon Scroll go with the Zombie Monster. And that's going to make me a Kamori Dragon. Oh, I thought it would be Zombie Dragon. Alright. Well, I guess I'm wrong about that. I guess... Kamor Dragon isn't too bad either, though. Like, not too bad at all. If I can find the right fusion for it. Um, let's go ahead and just sacrifice our Cyberstein for now. We're not going to be able to beat that flea anytime soon. Even our Kamor Dragon only ties with it. Oh, we got a Tribute Summon. What did we make? Hercules Beetle. Same problem. Actually, I'm completely okay with Hercules Beetle. That was literally the best thing he could have done for me. So, I have a Spellcaster now. Does Spellcaster fuse with Dragon? I don't know. All I know is that I need my Pyro Monster. And I have a machine here, but if I summon the machine, it will literally not do anything. If I fuse them, I can't summon it anyway. Spellcaster and a Beast don't really make anything. Your typing is going to be Forest. Um... I could go for the Sacrifice play, but I kind of want to learn more fusions while I'm here, so... What we're going to do is this. We're going to understand that we might be sacrificing ourselves, and we're just going to set you in defense mode. Um, and hope for the best. 
hope to draw my pyro monster basically and we got a new monster which could be just as scary as hercules beetle hercules got the 1500 attack the new monster has 1200 attack big insect oh yeah i know that one that one has 1500 defense and we got curtains that's another spellcaster monster i guess i could go for komori dragon right now and then hope that they don't get an equip spell um and then they don't crash hope that they don't crash because he has so much defense he might not want to let's see don't crash okay good that did work so now i can actually do stuff but if i do decide to fuse i will get sick and not be able to attack an 1850 fusion is not exactly going to be the most effective thing in the world so maybe i could bait him into attack mode a couple times maybe i don't know ah just not the best situation to be in honestly not the best hand to be working with either all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to have Kamori. uh you know what he's probably too defensive anyway let's just fuse all right Kamori dragon's gonna fuse and we are going to make the metal dragon if possible and we did make the metal dragon it's a pyro monster yes oh i didn't even know it was pyro but that makes it worth it by a long shot a golden fire breathing dragon oh my god it's pyro all right totally worth fusing it onto the field that was so good they double made it oh god okay he did a double tribute which i've never seen from freaking weevil i don't even know a double tribute other than insect queen um but thanks to my monster there's no reason to because i'm too strong for him um none of these cards in my hand fuse i don't think so i'm just gonna go ahead and summon a uh, let's just summon the phantom and let's let metal dragon take on the double fusion let's see it's the perfectly ultimate great moth in this game it's just a double tribute oh my god he has a 3500 beater who the hell thought that was a good idea giving weevil a 3500 beater if it wasn't for the fact that my metal dragon was a pyro monster this duel would be over field transform to forest guess what pyro loves the forest literally the game doesn't tell you that but it does all right giant scorpion that's fine i can i can beat that that's craziness oh my god he actually could just straight up summon it who thought that was a good idea all right let's go ahead and use you and you to fuse there we go this is gonna be the bean soldier i was thinking of and bean soldier is gonna be real good next turn because look at that 1820 on this field and then we're gonna just summon probably you know what the bird's useless because it's wind so let's just summon that pyro monster get in there Oh, 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 I can't believe you're Pyro. And being able to fuse you on the field was extremely lucky. Literally the luckiest thing that happened to me was being able to fuse you on the field. Because if I fused you in the hand, I probably never would have been able to summon you anyway. Why is the bird not dead? The hell did he just summon where the bird isn't weak enough? Okay, funny enough, I did draw something better than Bean Soldier, so that's, that's sad. Um... I'm honestly curious if he's just weak to win for, like, no reason. Oh, my God, it's Drillbug, and it's an Earth Monster. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. And Metal Dragon, I just realized it's not the Pyro thing that made my other monster get the buff. It was the fact that it was probably an insect or something. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter, guys. We're doing amazing. Gatling Rex, good job. I'm freaking proud of you. You're so awesome. All right, Weevil, what you got? Now you're going to kill my monster. No way, they're not. All right, Insect Armor. I'm not scared when I have a Pyro monster, so that's fine. Basic Insect. Wow, that's that's from the show. <laughs> Buffing that monster to win the tournament. But, yeah, it doesn't matter now, does it? Oh, I don't even think you could beat my Bean Soldier with that card. 1100? No. Nah, <laughs> nah. You did. All right, guys. We got amazing monsters this turn. We got our Metal Dragon. We're going to end it with our Gatling Rex, but we the fact that we got a Metal Dragon in that fusion was so clutch. I'm uh, sorry, that fact that it was Pyro. How, I didn't even know it would be Pyro. What? My precious insects. I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't either, man. I, I have no idea how I won that. Oh, I got the Ritual Spell. Holy crap, I am amazing at getting Ritual Spells. But a Hercules Beetle is quite the cost, since it's a tribute monster. I present you with a card part and follow wind. I'm not really into these magic cards. I do like ritual spells, don't get me wrong, but I'm not into magic. Alright, it's not for me. Let's go ahead and play against Seeker. Funny enough, this guy was really weak the first time we fought him. Like, extremely weak monsters. So if he could continue to be extremely weak monsters, I'd appreciate it. 
And we drew some decent monsters to start the duel. Um, some decent monsters. I'm going to go ahead and fuse... Those guys would make Bolt Escar go. That's not the best card in the world. Um, do I trust Funny Face? I don't know. I don't know. This guy might be weird. I'm gonna play Bio Plant. I'm just gonna play Bio Plant. Nothing, nothing scary. Nothing crazy. Bio Plant has good defense. We'll take advantage of that. Final Flame. Oh my God, I lose 200 life points. Look at you with your tactical ass card. You don't even know I have Bio Plant yet. You still weren't willing to attack. So that must be a really weak monster. Just saying, really weak. Um, let's go ahead and see what I want to make. Um, I'm going to just summon my funny face, and I'm going to attack with Bioplant, assuming he's weak. Oh, it's Stone Soldier of the Aztecs, and that card is Earth, I believe? Okay, so I need a Wind Monster. Um, I was not prepared for this, which means he can get a Tribute now. Uh, is this the stall strat for the, for that he didn't do the first time we fought? But the thing that's supposed to actually work? Do I have any wind yet? Okay, no wind yet. So I'm glad I drew this Gatling Rex. That card's great. Um, let's go ahead and just attack with this card instead. Dragon Piper. Okay, I was right. That card's pretty strong. Dragon Piper's pretty strong, but we can beat it. It's a Pyro Monster. I wouldn't mind getting a Dragon Piper of my own. And as long as I keep beating his monsters, he will not be able to Tribute Summon. Now, I have a plant on the field, so I can actually fuse on the field later. All right, not worth attacking the bio plan. That Aztec card is going to be annoying. Um, I do run a wind monster though. Uh, what are you, fusion wise? You're a beast warrior. Okay, not bad. Uh, thunder. Thunder. Yeah, no, none of this does. None of this looks too good to me. Nothing too bad. Nothing too good. I can't really make anything right now that's worthwhile. I know of, obviously. I, my brain don't work too good. I don't have the same memories as I used to. Oh, it's an insect monster. That's why I was so buffed. Look at that guy. Aqua monster. Okay. Hmm. I could just summon all my best cards, but at the same time, I might want to not do that. I might want to not. Let's just set a card. Maybe bait out an attack. We're going to set Tongyo. And we're just going to attack with Gatling. A Psychic Kappa, not a very good card, all, all things considered, but this Stone Aztec card that he's using will stall for Exodia, and that's a problem. It's hard for me to get over 2,000 attack, that's rare. Raigeki, what? 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 What do you mean, Raigeki? What the hell do you mean he had Raigeki? What kind of power does this guy have? Raigeki's such a high cost card. There's no way you can run Raigeki. That card must cost like 500 points. It's one of the strongest cards in the game. Of all dual monsters. It's still used to this day in some decks. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I, I lost all my best cards. All of them. Just gone in an instant. Alright. Alright. I see how it is today. If that's how the day is going to be, I'm going to have to be super careful. And if this guy's allowed to run more than one Raigeki, we got to be extremely careful. Because I'm running out of powerful monsters. They already blew all my best ones. And I need, I'm just waiting for a wind monster so I can actually break through this. Final Flame. I could survive Final Flames. They don't do enough damage. Ugh, so we're cool. Let's see if I bait out an attack from this. Air Mammoth. Perfect. Okay. That's the good news, because that's one of the only other ways I'm going to be able to do damage to this guy, is baiting out attacks. Oh, look, I got another Reptile Aqua Monster. Um, Let's just go ahead and summon it for now. We're always going to attack with this card, though. Well, it's going to... You know, I could put it in defense mode. It still has 1,200 defense. It's not bad. If I, if I do this just to bait out another attack, because it's a secret... I don't think he's going to... Oh, he Tribute Summoned. Oh, but he said it. Okay, that makes me feel a little more confident. A Tribute Summon that got set? That makes me feel better. I got Beta. I'm not going to summon all my strongest cards like I did that one time. That that backfired super hard. Uh, let's go ahead and test out his defenses. Gear Golem of the Moving Fortress. That's a five-star in this game? Wait, what? 
Oh, wow, it is a five star in this game. Same typing, I need win still, but it has 2200 defense. I don't know what the speed stat matters. It's not like it can attack directly. All right, so until I get a wind monster, we are completely walled because he killed all my best cards. And I don't know any fusions at the moment that I could make that are pretty powerful. Nothing at the moment anyway. Let's see, beta, Zera. I guess Zera Ritual eventually, but I would have to draw my one Rui Kishin powered and I don't see that happening anytime soon. What about you? What are you? You're a beast, so that's why you got fused. Speaking of which, beasts can fuse with some stuff, can't it? Yeah, but nothing on the field, that's for damn sure. But I do need to get rid of cards in my hand, so let's have the Wandering Doom take out my machine monster. It's like, but Cooper, you didn't summon. It's like, well, shut up. <laughs> I don't care. Um, that gear golem of the moving fortress is a problem. We're just gonna keep destroying. Oh my god, he got two! If he gets a double tribute monster, we're in so much trouble. All these stall cards will be so annoying. But I mean, they're, they're weak to the same thing, so it's fuck me, he tribute summoned. And that means he's got two now, but I mean, they're all weak to the same thing, so once I draw wind, we're good. A beast monster? A uh, beast monster's cute, but it's not gonna do much. Um... Yeah, I guess we're just stuck here doing this. This guy found a way. Gear Golem, yeah, we just want to know. It's better to know than not to know. Information's important. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a card in our hand. We're going to put you on the field, and we're going to put you over uh, this guy. Zombie and Beast Warrior don't really do anything. Zombie and Thunder don't do anything. Oh, not liking this. Not liking this at one bit. Rock and Beast Warrior, maybe? Let's find out. Nope, not at all. But at least that means I don't have to worry about the field anymore. So until he gets a double tribute monster that wrecks me, or until he gets Exodia, I'm fine. Come on, attack me. There we go. Okay, three-headed Gito. I'm doing a little bit of damage. Deflected damage is how I win this. Until I get my stuff. So let's get Ikaboon out of the hand so that we can have more space. Anything else? Okay, I got a forest monster. We can make... Uh... A beast and a thunder, I guess. I, I don't think they make anything at all. Um, I guess I could summon on my fifth zone, and then I'll I'll just summon on top of it afterwards. So let's just go ahead and do our damage that we would want to do. Yep, three-headed Gito. Fiend monster, that's decent, I guess, but we could beat it. And then, yeah, hopefully they attack me again. Maybe Ikaboom will kick in. Not like I wanted to, but it'd be funny. Just defending your life points. And Ikaboom worked on Tomazaurus, the Earth Monster. Alright, and let's see. I drew Earth Monster again. Insects don't really fuse with anything. Except maybe other insects. I don't know. Uh, this game's weird. Let's go ahead and send in this insect monster. And replace it with this beast monster. There we go. Go into defense mode. Don't you worry about, don't you worry about a thing. We're going for deflected damage nightmare. Maybe you could do that for us. And this guy seems to have bricked, which means Exodia Peace possibly. Happy Lover is a fee. Oh, you know what? Fairy Monster is one I want to test. Fairy fusions are hard to find, so... Let's see. Fairy with an insect probably won't make a damn thing. But nothing in my hand either, so... Let's go ahead and try that out. Fairy with nothing. Yep, that didn't do shit. That's fine. We're still stuck here. Until I draw a wind monster, we are absolutely trapped. I have two in my deck, though, so it's not the worst. And we got a new defense monster, most likely, because they instantly put him in defense mode. So, am I going to deal with three of these bastards now? Oh, look, I got a warrior monster. Warrior's got to fuse with something on the field. Nope. Okay, nope. Uh, you. You're Pyro. Go, go, go fuse with that one. No? Doesn't work? Okay. Alright. You try to kill the defense. It's Psychic Kappa. It's not that good. It's got like 400 attack, 1,000 defense. What are you going to do? Yeah, my only hopes are I draw Rui Kishin Powered or I draw my Light Mon I mean my Wind Monster. When one of those things happen, I'm in. And then I'll start winning again. Lagool! You literally attacked with the Lagool, and you thought that was a good idea. Alright, I appreciate the attempt. The attempt will not be forgotten. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fuse these two. There we go, we got Bolt S Cargo now. Just a Thunder Monster. Uh, Lagoo Hole is super weak, so that was the nicest thing they could have done for us. In fact, we might not need to do any of this other stuff if we continue to bait. So, which one of these is hidden? Okay, he's at least hidden. 
can't hide in attack mode, sadly, but this works. Alright, Seeker, come on. Just come over here and attack my monster. It's so delectable. Ah, you coward. You absolute coward, you. What, you scared of Bolt Escargo? I guess I would be too. Holograph, machine monster, not what we're looking for. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, well, let's just uh, play... Let's play you over in here. Let's get rid of that monster. Bolt S cargo is not that important. And let's just destroy this card over here. Oh, look, it's Psychic Kappa number three. I got to see all three of them. How many cards do we even have left in our deck? We have 20. Okay, we're running out. We gotta find a way. Oh, look at that. They burned me again, which means they're not gonna summon this turn. I was right about that. Damn it. Ugh, give me a card. Give me a card. Wind monster. Fiend. Rui Kishin. Okay, that changes everything. So basically, we just need to summon Rui Kishin in a spot where it will not fuse. Rui Kishin is a fiend monster. Fiends don't fuse with machines. Then, we gotta offer some stuff. Sadly, I only have good cards to offer, but that's fine. Two sacrifices required. So what we do, we're gonna offer this. And we're gonna offer this. And then we're gonna activate our ritual spell, Zera Ritual. This is why you keep a ritual around, guys, in case someone thinks they can wall you. Then we got Zera the Mont. He's a divine monster, cannot be defeated. Ritual monsters do not have the same thing as fusion monsters. They're not going to get slowed. They can still attack on the first turn. It looks freaky as hell in this game. Zero the Mon looks extremely scary. And it's probably the strong... It's probably my boss monster. It's the strongest card in my deck. So we got 2,800 attack. And we're divine. And we're fiends, so we get a buff in the other area. All right. And there's no possible way for him to beat a, div a divine monster. So... That's going to be the end of the duel. We got Bone Mouse for fun at the end. Um, we're going to put Beta in attack mode. We're going to fuse Mass Clown with Bone Mouse for fun. Just make ourselves a Zombie Warrior. Not like it matters. Zombie Warrior's there now. Then we're going to summon the Wandering Doomed. We're going to let our Zera deal with the one defense monster we can't deal with. We're going to assume he didn't draw two crazy good defense monsters. Uh, and have our monster destroy it. Ah, oh, he did. Okay. He bought himself one more turn, which means Wandering Doom, why don't you hide yourself in defense mode just in case? Well, look at that, guys. With one last turn, he got a Tribute Summon. It's Hannibal Necromancer, which is a level 5 monster, sadly. It's 4 in the regular game, 5 in the this game. And we're going to win with Zera the Mons. Let's go. Look at these creepy monsters fighting each other. Zera being the better one, though. Hey, at least we got to use Zera today. That's pretty freaking cool. So is your deck's not a power deck, it's a defense deck. Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, that is Joey's card. That's really cool. It's a light monster, wow. A warrior that counts as light. That's pretty interesting. And Steel War Grotto, ew, that's the five, it's the six star. Ew. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Let's just go ahead and go back to the campaign. It feels nice that I haven't lost, but... Yeah, we're going against an opponent that had beat me many times. It's time for Pandora, which is just Arcana. So, Arcana, what you got? Me, personally, I got some cards that can beat you, so... You're gonna need to show me something that I haven't seen before. Alright, I got Buku with Light. That might come in handy. Fiends, yep. Oh, 19 beater, nice. Hamburger recipe, funny enough. Um, Do I trust my Rui Kishin, or do I trust my, my Naga card? I could probably put it in defense mode. I don't want to lose Naga, but I'm going to put it in defense mode because unless he gets an equip spell or a field spell, I'll be able to beat what he summons. I didn't want to put it in defense mode. Let it be known. We got the Mysterious Puppeteer. Perfect. And then it's my turn. Mysterious Puppeteer, what are you made out of? Earth? Alright. Well, I'm just going to summon a liz uh, my Armored Lizard. Nothing too strong. Nothing too scary. Just an acceptable monster in my opinion. And then we're going to attack you with our Naga. Good job, Naga Lady. She did amazing damage. She's almost down to half health. Remember in the first tier when all the duels would take a while because I just attacked the 500s and I refused to fuse? Oh, crap. Dark Energy on Dismal Edition. It's at 1850. I could still beat it. Yep, I did the math. We can still beat that. Not the scariest card in the world, but it would have wasted my Rui Kishin, so I'm glad I never summoned him. Uh, what was the first card again? Buku, the Spellcaster, Swordsman of Earth. This guy is Fiend. Uh, well, if he's Fiend, I guess I could just Buku him to save time. Yeah, just so I can do 1900 damage. Good job, Buku. You did something. 
And Naga, get in there. Granted, it's better to save those kinds of monsters for situations where you just can't win. But I didn't. <laughs> but I did not. And Buku is probably dead. Field transformed to dark. Uh-oh, Buku's gonna get weakened for sure. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. You're a spellcaster, aren't you, Buku? Ah, but he's got a shadow monster that barely beats you. So, yeah, I was buffed. I was buffed, I think. Oh, Rui Kishin loves this area. He's, he's, he's thriving in it. So, we're gonna go ahead and let our aqua monster destroy the mass sorcerer, which would have had really good defense, but not enough. And then we got our new Rui Kishin card, which is just amazing in attack. This guy's gonna have, like, 50 life points left. 90 life points left. Sorry, I looked at that the opposite way. Let's just go ahead and get in there. And let's think about it. I got Air Mammoth. I got a Wind Monster. I got Earth Monsters for days. I got that Three-Eyed Bear. Yeah, let's get the Three-Eyed guy out. Rui Kishin, you can deal with that freaking defense monster. Wow, another mass Sorcerer. I'm glad I let you do it. And then Naga, you are an amazing card. And we were able to beat Arcana on the first try, which is lucky for me. Usually it gives me a lot more trouble. I love the tension. Thank you. Thank you. And with winning, we are able to get Mysterious Puppeteer, the card he used against us. Okay. Not the worst. Not too high of a cost for what it is, but not the worst. Uh, Silver Bone Arrow. I told you, Gramps. I don't want these spell cards. Stop it. Give me decent monsters with lots of attack and bad defense. Alright. It's time for a duel against Kaiba Boy, everybody. Let's just give it, give it a shot. Oh, you're upset because I beat you and you didn't beat me. That's, yeah, that's something to be upset about. So, Kaiba, what you gonna do? You gonna set a card because you're a coward? Good. Oh, I started with Naga again. And I got my dragon this time. And I got my zombie this time. Alright, well, we already know that this guy fuses together with uh, my dragon. Guaranteed. Get me a Komori dragon. Not the worst card in the world, honestly. Um, because it's Kaiba, we're going to start with Naga, because I do not doubt he has good defense. Rui Kishin powered, yep, that is 1600 attack and 1200 defense. Unless this guy runs a Thunder, he does run Thunder Dragon, but he'd have to tribute for that. I'm just going to assume he doesn't have a Thunder Monster. Uh, yay, I'm right, so far. So far I'm right. Ooh, speaking of Thunder Monsters, I got one of my own. Uh, do I really want to sell Komori Dragon, though? It's kind of weak, all things considered. Kind of weak. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just set my Thunder Monster. Normally I'd attack directly, but I'm not going to. I want to see if that can bait out his attack, and the Grappler is dead. Okay. I actually could have beat that with my Thunder Monster, but maybe he'll summon another one. He actually has summoned many Grapplers against me. And he attacks, and Earth beats Thunder. Okay, the Wicked Worm guy, he's at 1400 attack. Terrible effect in the game, but this isn't the game, so he's uh, the regular game. But, you know, this ain't the card game, so he's fine. I'm going to go ahead and summon Komori Dragon. Screw it. Uh, Komori Dragon, you can beat the Wicked Worm Beast, whatever. And then you, Nagavern, you can get in there and just do some damage. So Nagavern is basically Naga Wyvern. Is that what it is? Like the, the snake girl with the Wyvern dragon type monster. And then you get Nagavern at 1900 attack. That's pretty cool for a four star. All right, what do I get now? Curtains, okay. I got a spellcaster, and I got a freaking... I got nothing. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing here. All right. Um, I could I could be freaking defense on Kaiba. He's more of an attack. Me! He actually summoned the one monster that's more, not more of an attacker. It's his one defense monster. The one weak card in his deck, Saggy, which has amazing card art in this game. This game does give it some great card art. And I'm just going to attack with my weak shadow monster. Kaiba, Kaiba, Kaiba. Every other person here... Rex has beaten me. Weevil has beaten me. Uh, Esperoba has beaten me. Seeker... Okay, wait. See, I've not lost a Seeker. Oh, regular Rui Kishin. That's his other weak monster. Fun. That is fun. Bio plants. I could summon a divine monster. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I can summon a divine monster. That's a wind monster. Not something I was expecting from him. Wind monsters hate the forest, though. Bioplant is part of the forest, but I really want to summon my, my monster, so I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'm actually going to play defensive this turn. I super badly want to summon my monster. I could summon it right now if I wanted to, but if I do that, I cost myself everything. And I don't know if a divine monster is worth it with only 2,000 attack against Kaiba, who if he buffs one Legion or something, he beats me. But we'll see what I decide on doing. Alright, Totsumi Giant, yep, you beat my monster, that's fine. 
And that's fine. Until I grow a better monster, we're cool. Uh, happy Lover. Yeah, that's not really going to fuse with anything. Definitely not with that. Um, but you have 800 attacks, so that's kind of nice. Bioplant, I just don't see you getting... You know what? I'll do this. I'm going to set Bioplant. And if Bioplant survives, then we'll go for it next turn. If Bioplant doesn't survive, then obviously I don't get Hungry Burger. So that's the risk. Because I could have I, I could have just gone super aggressive by now. But instead, M1. But instead, I've decided I want to summon the Hungry Burger. So let's see if Bioplant gets lucky. Nope. Okay, no Hungry, no hungry Burger, everybody. Sorry to get your hopes up. Just not happening. Buku and Fairy. They never fuse. You know what? Try to fuse just for fun. There we go. Waste my turn. There we go. Destroy your monster. And Kaseto Kaiba. I just played around. I, I've even just made up for... I just made fun while fighting him. So we were able to beat the king of game. Oh, sorry. The richest man in the game, Seto Kaiba. And I'm sorry that you lost, buddy. So what do you get me? I got a Shining Friendship. Really, Taya? You're, you basically gave me that. I don't think that was from him. I think that was from you. It looks really derpy in this game. I like that. Uh, you know, Gramps, you got something better. Soul of the Pure. Another spell card. I'm tired of those, Gramps. Recover 2,000 life points. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's actually pretty good, but still. Um, that's gonna be it guys. I want to thank you all for watching uh, for yeah for watching. It's me Cooper, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye